Top 6 Best Camera for Photography in 2024 Hello guys, today in this video we are going to help you to find out the best camera for photography in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them you can check our links in the description below. And like comment share this video, subscribe our channel. Thank you. Number 6. Canon EOS R100. Mirrorless camera are the newest form of interchangeable lenses cameras for those who want to take photography seriously, and these are steadily taking over from the traditional DSLR. But up until recently, beginner models have been more expensive. We love the EOS R100 as it sets out to be the mirrorless camera that is priced so anyone can join the party. The EOS R100 is custom made for beginners. Sure it lacks some of the features of pricier options, most notably the LCD screen at the rear is not touch sensitive, and is fixed, so can't be swung around for selfies, say. However, thanks to the D-pad on the rear it is simple to navigate menus and settings, and there's a guided user interface to help explain things to the newbie. That's lots tech from more professional models in Canon's EOS mirrorless range such as the dual pixel autofocus that offers face tracking and eye detection to offer a huge helping hand in getting your pictures sharp. The lens system is relatively new, so there are no second-hand bargains, and frustratingly no third-party options. However, Canon has done a good job of making affordable lens options, and the camera can be used with old-school EF mount DSLR lenses using an adapter. Number 5. Fujifilm X-T5. The Fujifilm X-T5 a state-of-the-art mirrorless camera that acts like a classically controlled SLR, making it one of the best retro cameras. This makes it ideal for serious enthusiasts and old-school shooters, with its traditional dials on the top of the camera that enable you to change ISO and shutter speed settings quickly. The X-T5 takes the much-loved Fujifilm X-T4 further in terms of resolution but is still ideal for shooters who want a lightweight camera. Its specs are ferocious, with 40.2 MP photographs, 10-bit 4.2.2 video at 6.2K 30p, and a three-way tilting touchscreen for flexible image composition. In terms of the way that it looks, feels, and handles, the X-T5 is in a class of its own. Number 4. Canon EOS Rebel T7. The DSLR is the traditional camera for those learning about photography, those who are new to the hobby, or studying photography at college, making this one of the best cameras for students. The Canon EOS Rebel SL3 is a long-standing favorite of ours in this category, and is sold as the Canon EOS 250D in Europe. It's by no means the most advanced DSLR you can get, but its simplicity, its controls, and the quality of the images it can create make it our top recommendation for anyone just starting out, and has limited budget to spend. What we like about the Canon, is that there is a huge range of affordable lenses for this interchangeable lens system. So you can find others that you can borrow different options from, and find bargain second-hand options. What's more, there isn't a lot the SL3-250D doesn't do, unlike other budget DSLRs, it offers 4K video, and boasts a fold-out rotating LCD screen its 24-megapixel dual-pixel sensor delivers super-sharp, super-high-quality images. Do make sure you buy a kit that includes an IS zoom lens, which gives you image stabilization that will help ensure your handheld shots are that bit sharper. The downside is that DSLRs are on their way out, and Canon even has stopped producing new models or new lenses for the system. Number 3. Sony A7R Mark V. The R models in Sony's A7 series cameras are designed first and foremost for resolution, and the Sony A7R Mark V is the highest resolution camera yet with a full-frame sensor. It's not just the detail rendition that's stellar, but this camera's 4K video capability and 10 frames per second continuous shooting speed, all combined with in-body 5-axis image stabilization and one of the most powerful autofocus systems the world has seen, complete with the world's best, so far, IAF. One of the most compelling reasons for picking the Sony system, however, is the extensive lens range now available, both from Sony itself and third parties, and the momentum the Sony brand has built up in the photographic community. Number 2. Sony ZV-1. 
Normally we recommend interchangeable lens cameras for any kind of serious photography or filmmaking, but we'll make an exception with the Sony ZV-1. It has a fixed 3x zoom lens and a 1-inch sensor that's smaller than its Micro Four Thirds and APS-C rivals, but it makes up for it with a super compact body small enough to slip into a jacket or even a trouser pocket, and a body, controls, audio system and rear that are optimized brilliantly for vlogging. The newer Sony ZV-12 is more expensive and offers a wider angle zoom, which is better suited for vlogging but otherwise is pretty much identical to the original. The woolly hat you see in the pictures is a muffler to cut wind noise while filming, and it comes with the camera, and the autofocus on this camera is blazingly fast, and copes brilliantly when you hold objects up to show the camera. The ZV-1 stands out, however, as a camera that has been built for vlogging first and foremost. It will also shoot stills perfectly well, but vlogging is what it's made for. This makes it a strong candidate for our list of the best cameras for vlogging, and it also qualifies for our list of the best Sony cameras. Its nearest rival is the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III, but the new Sony beats it for screen articulation, autofocus, and audio. It's also cheaper than the flagship Sony RX107, and by a considerable margin, since then. Sony has taken the same idea to its swelling a 6000 mirrorless camera range to produce the ZV E10. Like the ZV E1, the ZV E10 takes an existing, and increasingly expensive, range and produces a cheaper vlogging specific version that feels a much better fit for its audience. The difference is that the ZV E1 is a compact camera with a smaller 1 inch sensor and a fixed, non interchangeable lens. This is a 24 to 70 mm equivalent f/1.8-2.8 zoom similar to that used on older Sony RX100 models, and the sensor is a 20 MP 1 inch type used across the RX100 range. Number 1. DJI Pocket 3. Is the DJI Pocket 3 an action camera? Well, it's not rugged and waterproof, but given a lot of action cameras are used in the hand on selfie sticks, this is a sensible option to consider. It is easy to use, and has a usably big touchscreen with the third iteration. There is no questioning the superb stabilization, clever follow the modes, and flip around selfie shooting. There's also a handy ultra wide lens attachment that, admittedly, definitely drops quality, but adds a field of view. There is also the option of buying in a combo with a DJI Mic 2 that adds a Bluetooth microphone, making this an ideal tool for vlogging. The three built in mics can also help cancel the ambient noise. The 1 inch sensor handled mixed and low light well in our tests too. That aside, the convenience, versatility, and stabilization offered by the DJI Pocket 3 can't be overstated. After all, nothing much can do all the things it can and still slip into a jacket pocket. You can even connect wirelessly to your smartphone and get big screen control and playback via the DJI app. Not long ago, DJI one upped GoPro by putting a bigger, better sensor in their GoPro-shaped Osmo Action 4. The Pocket 3 seems to bring the same sensor, and with it the same low-light abilities, to the device we've never quite been able to categorize, the Pocket Series. This is the third generation of what is essentially a drone's gimbal camera you can hold in your hand, it isn't an obvious category but vloggers, tourists, and perhaps now serious pros might all find uses for the 4K 120fps camera with 10-bit recording and HDR. This is the top 6 best camera for photography in 2024. Please make sure to subscribe our channel for these kind of information. Thanks for watching.